guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 3 of Asteroid and Love. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. Basically a date. Ain't that funny? Hey, mm -hmm. you. <laughs> well, it's Susie for you. It's like that sometimes. Sometimes you gotta be the bitch of the group, and that's okay. This whole episode today might just be the three of them. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. You're so cute. Well, damn, Suzu, I thought you would be studying, too. So you just here observing. <laughs> Mira, you okay? <laughs> oh 
only Suzu would fangirl about Misa. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my god. She might have a crush on her. Ow. <laughs> You're so cute. Your little puppy face. Oh my god. Question about her. Susu for a moment was like, fuck the cream puffs. There's Yuri right in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, you jealous. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. I'm so cute. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> this girl made a damn shirt. <laughs> Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yay. <laughs> Ain't it funny how they're wearing the same colored shirt? Girlfriends matching. Matching girlfriends. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. You'll do fine. Mm -hmm. 
一年。<laughs> like Megumi. She ain't little. <laughs> she probably as tall as me. Oh, you look so masculine. You look nice though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has fun. She had to think about it. I know, it, the hesitation, right? <laughs> she like Cocoa. <laughs> Except she's not obsessed with this is really like Cocoa. <laughs> Of course, Susan. Is she going to sell them bitches? <laughs> Cute little thing, oh my god. You know? Oh no, yeah. It's just a... hmm. Are you gonna tell them for no, not for the rest of the episode. Let them do their own thing. There's gonna be no good coming out of this.
<laughs> this girl on Twitter <laughs> doing her Twitter thread. <laughs> there we go. On <laughs> her Twitter, what maybe like what under a maybe fifty or a hundred followers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It would it kind of be like uh, at two places at um, at one time or something like that? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my god, stop. Go lay down, I'm almost done. Oh, that sucks. Why the person behind me to look like me and A? Only if her hair was shorter. You got this. Aww. Well, you know. You have an idea?
<laughs> this is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> My god, you know, you are so freaking precious, baby. I love you. Y'all about to be like, hang on, y'all gonna go on a little summer camp thing, y'all gonna train, whatever, but that's okay, I like that, okay, Eno, oh my god, she's so fucking precious, I knew I was gonna love her ever since episode one when she did her little weird, <laughs> dance thing. I knew I was gonna love her and she was so fucking precious and oh my god. Jesus, this child is so fucking adorable. You just think, oh my god, you honey bunny, I just want to hug you. And she was like, oh my god, it's such a little thing. Okay. But it was interesting how, in a way, we had two different dates in this episode overall. We had a study date, and then we had a date with them just going out and going to look for stuff with Eno Senpai. And just seeing what Eno sees typically in a day and making a map i thought that was a really interesting thing it gave me feels towards like i think the last few episodes of season two of is the order of rabbit where um chino and the girls were looking at a map and to find a secret passageway to see where it led and what certain items were there that session was cute and then mita and <laughs> Al's little study date and then working at a cafe. Not a cafe. The bakery. I mean, god dang. That just made me hungry. I mean, I just got home from Publix and I have a sandwich and of course I'm going to eat my sandwich after this because god damn it, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> and it's a good sandwich. Like, uh, if you ever come to Florida, just go to Publix. It's good. Exciting summer camp. So yeah, I, I'm guessing what they're gonna do. It's gonna be almost like not 100% like a Kaon episode typical with their summer camp or their little training camp ish. They're gonna actually do a little bit more learning, studying, and everything. And I think it's gonna be really interesting. I mean, what I've liked about some of the summer camps that I've been to from elementary school, or like I did, I did all the way from elementary school to maybe before my first year of middle school. Um was anytime we took a field trip like anywhere we went to like a science museum in nebraska i don't remember where the science museum was in nebraska because like i mean it was a long ass time ago i was a kid <laughs> so but it was it's nice to just learn about different things and i love the fact of this show i mean this and a couple other shows from what i'm watching this season it is a very good learning experience while one show that i am almost done with didn't really give me the learning experience that I personally wanted for the show because it is very similar to this show. It is doing the exact same things from this show because it's supposed to deal with asteroids and planets and everything for 40 something episodes, but they didn't do it right. And I'm going to talk about it on Sunday when the next episode comes out because I want to be nice and put both of the freaking episodes together. Okay, so I twinkle pretty good. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, I just love this show. It's so freaking interesting. 
Misa, I freaking love the crap out of her. I love the fact that Suzu is, like, you can see that she's so in love with her. It is so, like, fucking obvious that it's not even funny. I mean, this girl is just like, mm-hmm. I love her. And the, yeah, and the Yuri and everything. Even, like, over here, like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't with Suzu sometimes. Like, oh, my God. She just She's gonna make me laugh in this whole entire series. Like, oh, my God. Girl is so fucking <laughs> crazy, but in a good way. I mean, Jesus. I, I haven't met an anime character that is so, but no. Mm -mm, I'm gonna take that back. Because freaking me and a was like that with other <laughs> she was like that with freaking um what's her face from um <laughs> the angel series with her sister and best girl Noah because like that was me with Noah but that was her with I think it was like Hina <laughs> Oh, God, Angel flew down to me. I missed that damn show. I just needed to have a second freaking season. But, yeah, I mean, typically, she is the freaking... Suzu is the me and a of this show. Because <laughs> she is obsessed and freaks out over the Yuri, like, every few minutes. I can't... Oh, my God. <laughs> but I love her for that. I'm like, yes, honey. You did your fangirl. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I gotta breathe. Ooh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode 3 of Astrated Love. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 4. Bye, guys.